Of course, like you, we wish for the masjid to remain open for as long as we are allowed to keep it open. For that to be the case, we must abide by certain instructions as we uh, uh, alluded to last week and in fact clarified quite, uh, quite uh, explicitly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's house uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's house is governed alhamdulillah and managed by a competent management and all of the masajid alhamdulillah by and large are run by competent management who wish to serve the musalleen. Now the service is not only to facilitate for you ibadah but it is also to facilitate and to uh, to facilitate and and take care of your health and well-being the instructions we gave and we reiterate my dear respected brothers and sisters which is please make wudu before you come please pray sunnah at home before you come or at work pray sunnah uh, the sunnah of the salah after the salah at home when you leave please vacate the masjid as quickly as possible we are in great proximity to each other during the jama'ah and therefore if one person if one person is infected with the coronavirus it is very easy to spread it is very easy to spread and we want to minimize that spread we wish to minimize that spread also we have vulnerable groups the elderly those above the age of 70 years those above the age of 70 they are the most vulnerable groups when we instruct you when we instruct you and ask you to remain at home when possible it is not because we uh, are worried uh, we're worried from you we are worried for you we're not scared of you we're scared for you because of your uh, 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 because of the, uh, uh, your uh, your immune system being compromised and those with underlying health conditions please my dear respected brothers and sisters know that allah has allah has prescribed an alternative for every ibadah remember this allah has prescribed an alternative a badal for the ibadah so for example if you're unable to perform wudu we have what we have tayammum yes is tayammum less rewarding than wudu no it's not if you are sick and unwell or you are poor or you fear war or the the path is not the the, the your path towards uh, mecca is not safe is hajj obligatory for you then no it's not obligatory for you then and are you sinful for not performing hajj no you're not sinful for performing for not performing hajj if you are ill if you are unable to perform jumu'ah then you remain at home and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you as though you have gone to jumu'ah now of course we are continuing salatul jumu'ah as long as we are able to and as long as we are allowed to my dear respected brothers and sisters allah has not placed difficulty upon us in this religion therefore do not impose difficulty on yourself he says yuridu bikum uh, 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 yuridu bikum al yusra allah wills for you ease and does not will for you difficulty and he did not place difficulty upon you in the religion so brothers don't place difficulty upon yourselves in the religion now of course i know that i'm speaking in english and this message will only reach a certain audience please please relay these messages to your relatives to your fathers and to your uncles and those who you worry for and you are concerned about their well-being in their native tongue so that they understand these messages and there is i have i have been hearing uh, these uh, sentiments sentiments which are guided by misplaced piety such as i wish to die in allah's house first of all you should not wish death upon yourself that's haram allah says wala taqtulu anfusakum and do not kill yourselves in allah kana bikum rahima indeed allah was with you merciful and he subhanahu wa ta'ala he says wala tulqu bi aydikum ila tahluka and do not throw yourselves into destruction or harm's way if you know that in big gatherings you're more likely to be infected and you have a, a weak immune system you're at a vulnerable age because uh, because of uh, uh, sorry you're at a vulnerable uh, health condition because of your age please don't throw yourself into harm's way that is not there's no tawakkul in this people are talking about tawakkul 
They're saying, if you don't shake the hand, yeah, we're, we're, we're reliant upon Allah. No one would cross the road to the masjid here, Whitechapel High Street, yes? No one would cross the, masjid, uh, the road with their eyes closed. Why? Because they know that they must use the physical means to ensure their well-being so that they can enter and pray. Also, to ensure your well-being, do avoid crowds where you are vulnerable, where you are susceptible to picking up an infection and it harming you more than it would harm somebody with a sound immune system. Yes, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, لا ضرر ولا ضرار. Let no one, let there be no harm on somebody and let no one inflict harm. So if somebody comes, they are unwell, they, uh, they, they experience mild symptoms. We are not saying if you're, if you're limping to the mosque, don't come. No, even if you are experiencing mild symptoms and a dry cough, aches in your bones and, and fatigue in your muscles and a headache, yes? If you experience mild symptoms, do not come to the masjid just as you have been instructed not to go to work and not to go to school and to avoid crowds and to avoid the, those whose uh, uh, health is uh, vulnerable. Yes? So also please do not come to the masjid and do not inflict harm upon others. Do not inflict harm upon others. And every single fatwa body and council in the world up until this moment has stated categorically that it is haram, it is haram to put people in danger if you experience the uh, symptoms of the coronavirus or you are certain that you have it also. It is haram to put people in harm's way by spreading this disease through not taking the precautions. My dear respected brothers and sisters, I must say this because I know many people are saying this, away from the microphone. We come into the masjid and all we can hear is a symphony of coughs and people not covering their mouths. And this goes, first of all, this is not, this is poor hygiene anyway. This is poor hygiene anyway and poor manners anyway. Yes, that you stand in salah, you are surrounded by scores of people and you cough with your mouth open and you don't cover. First of all, those symptoms, if, if they are persistent, if they, and, and in many cases they do persist due to the individual's age, please avoid the masjid. Remain at home. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the reward of the jama'ah. Will give you the reward of the jama'ah. The mosque does not want to take the step of turning people away. So please do not put the masjid and all mosques in the UK Yes, everyone who is listening to this message now, please do not put mosques in that position where they must take steps to turn people away. Nobody wants to close the door of the mosque. We want to keep it open as long as possible, but we do so through cooperating with one another. Be a means for the masjid to remain open and don't be the cause for the masjid being shut down. Yes, my dear respected brothers and sisters, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us in our health and to protect us in our iman and to protect us in our families and to protect our wealth and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he inspire to mankind the cure for this disease and a vaccination that treats us and protects us and he is al-hafidh he is the protector and he is al-wali he is our ally whom we seek and we turn to and we beg him for protection and we beg him for mercy and we beg him to pardon us for our sins and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to purify us of our wrongdoings and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to elevate our rank and to forgive our sins and to admit us into his gardens without any account in the company of his most beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen